Hello friends, my name is Ronnie. I like to sell things online and here's everything that I sold this week on eBay. Good week, nice bounce back week. We're looking at the time period from May 16th to May 22nd, 2022. Sold a total of $598.15 worth of goods. Let's go! That makes me happy. Last couple of weeks have been talking about the summer slowdown. I think this week shall be known as the summer rebound because we are right back where we like to be, selling 500 bucks worth of stuff every single week. Going to start it off with a free promotional items that I got from the Lego shop. This was a May the 4th promo. It's a print. It's limited to 5,000 of them. I have a couple of thoughts in why I purchased this. It cost me $20 in VIP points. Anything that is Star Wars and limited, the collectors, there's going to be a market for it. So I, I knew as soon as that thing was listed, I was like, I'm going to make money on that. So I purchased it. It had a little dink on one little side of it that was like not very visible, but pretty good condition overall. I wound up shipping it in a mailing tube, fingers crossed that it makes it there safe and sound. 50 bucks, free shipping, out the door. Hooray, I've held on to these things for a long time. They're fun lights. I got them for a quarter at the local thrift. White on white background, so that's from like the very beginning of my thrifting adventures. They sold finally after three months or so for nine bucks plus shipping. I hit on some heat the other night uh, whenever I went to the local thrift shop. The first of which was this brand new pair of Asics wrestling shoes. Sold for $30 plus shipping. I also found a pair of Nike Vapor Max. I've got them listed for $115. They haven't sold yet, but I've gotten offers for up to $90. Bucks. Um, I paid a dollar for each of these pairs of shoes. Oh, yeah. Moving out some Stuart Woods books. These were former library copies. They looked like they were like brand new. They had the nice plastic wrap on all of them. Uh, yeah, just like really, really good copies of books. Sold for five bucks plus shipping. I've had them for a while. Ready to move on from them. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but whenever I get a new phone, I like to protect it, but I don't always know exactly what kind of case I want. So this was for my iPhone 12 Pro Max, and I had seven different cases that I'd bought for it, just listed them all together, sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Cleared out this album of old St. Louis Cardinal baseball cards. I picked these up at McDonald's back in the day. They're very retro, very cool, very limited edition, but also not very valuable at $5.20 plus shipping. So back before I was even listing stuff on eBay, I went to a flea market. This is years ago. And I saw this Stein, and I had the thought, I wonder if I could buy this and flip it online. Well, lo and behold, you can do that kind of thing. It took me a little while to uh, realize that and to list it and to ultimately sell it. White on white background, so we know that this one is very old. Sold for 5 bucks plus shipping. Really cool looking Stein, though. I, I enjoy it. I think it's neat. I always pick up books for super cheap if I'm going to. I always look for lots as well. I found this lot at a thrift store and I think I paid a quarter for all five of them and I sold them for seven bucks plus shipping. Good pickup from a local thrift shop, uh, 25 cents for both of these headquarters. Is he <laughs> Great pickup from a local thrift shop, um, pretty much brand new old school tailor-made golf head covers is what we're looking at here. I paid a quarter for both of them, sold for 13 bucks plus shipping. Put a couple of Magellan shirts together. These are very nice flannel shirts. Uh, Magellan is an academy sports brand. Lotted them up together, 10 bucks plus shipping is what they sold for. I think somebody got a pretty good bargain on these, these Asics shoes. I paid a dollar for them, they sold for 11, so I got profit, somebody got a good pair of shoes out of it. I was really hesitant to pick these up. These are from Goodwill, uh, not too long ago, maybe two weeks ago I picked them up for $3, and they sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. I was very happy about that. All right, lot of 84 vintage, mostly gospel, some country music cassette tapes. These came in a bundle with a uh, tape player at the local thrift shop. I got the tape player and all of the cassettes for $4. Haven't sold the tape player yet. These are going overseas via the uh, like thing where you send it to a shipping center, and it only costs you like normal rates to, to ship mail like it would in the United States. But then they ship it overseas, and, and I don't understand how they're able to do that so cheaply because it only cost me 10 bucks to ship this. I think it was maybe... 14 pounds and it was it was via media mail and it's going overseas and if those things make it to their destination I'll I'll be amazed quite frankly <laughs> we will see 
I picked up this shirt as a part of a bundle from a yard sale from a couple of weekends back. I got this and two pairs of shoes for $12. The polo sold for 20 bucks plus shipping, so I made all my money back just by selling the shirt. But also in that bundle was this pair of Chrysler men's running shoes. I'd never heard of this brand before. Uh, doesn't command a real high dollar, as you can see there, but they, don't, they weren't listed for that long. And again, I got the shirt, two pairs of shoes. The other ones were also Chrysler. Um, and I'm already way ahead on them, so that was a good deal for me. Another early thrift pickup for me, this is a blood pressure monitoring system. I paid a buck for it, got $9 plus shipping. Probably my second best flip of the week, I think. Uh, found this Steph Curry uh, Golden State Warriors jersey at Salvation Army. I paid $3 for this. It sold pretty much immediately for $54.99. Comps were around in that area. I priced mine really competitively because I know that the Warriors are in the playoffs right now. Wanted to strike while the iron's hot, and it sold quick, so that was pretty great. Another really good Salvation Army score is this vintage Nike binder. If you open it up, there we go. 1994, this binder came out. Uh, it was kind of, I mean, it was dirty. It had some stains on it. To my surprise, it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. The big L of the week is this baseball bat. It sold for 15 bucks plus $10 in shipping. Whenever I listed this, USPS was asking about that much for shipping. However, their rates changed from the time that I listed it to the time that it sold. And the shipping on this wound up costing me uh, as much as it cost me to pay for the item and the money that I got in. So really, it was a net neutral. It just kind of took up my time to photograph it and to ship it out. Um, but that happens sometimes. You you live and you learn. So not super interested in selling bats unless they're, you know, like twenty, thirty, forty dollars in profit. Uh the ones with, with you know that I'm gonna sell for only fifteen bucks, not worth it anymore. It's especially like where the shipping's at on them. We gotta end on the, the win of the week after we had that big L. Um I found this Sony portable Bluetooth speaker in Goodwill. Um, it didn't really catch my eye at first, but I picked it up, and I'm thankful that I did that because when I did, it was so stinking heavy. In fact, that thing weighs uh, almost four pounds. So essentially, this is like the equivalent of a Sonos speaker. It's a standalone home theater speaker that you can pair up. You can use Bluetooth with it. It comes with an aux cord. It sounds really, really fantastic. Uh, and obviously, there's definitely some value within these if you can find them. I paid $12 for it. Sold for 90 bucks, pretty darn quick. I had some some kind of back and forth negotiating with the buyer, but we landed on a price that I felt really good about. You know, getting basically 80 bucks worth of profit uh, for a really cool Bluetooth speaker, and, and they got a deal. And hey, win, win, win. So that is everything that I sold on eBay. Let's jump over to Whatnot and see how we did there. All right, over here on the Whatnot, we've got two auctions to cover from that time period of the 16th to the 22nd. The first one was a big L. I scheduled this on a Monday evening. I had maybe seven people that wound up showing up for the auction. And this was kind of the turning point for me when I realized that I needed to put more time and effort into eBay probably and to kind of pivot and only do whatnot auctions on those really popular times, the weekend times, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I did that, and I'm happy to say that the results were really good. So the next time that I did a whatnot auction was this past Sunday, 522. We had a start time of 945 in the morning. This was a total experiment for me as well. I wanted to see on a weekend time schedule, when would I have a window of time, like up to two hours, where there wouldn't be any other sellers that I would be competing with for those Lego buyers. 945 in the morning central time is what I identified uh, the first auction wasn't going to start until noon, so I was like, rise and grind, we'll do some minifigure drafts. It went stupendously. Um, I sold $648 worth of merchandise, $543 is what I got after uh, uh, fees and those kinds of things. So I feel really good about that. That's about a 5 to $6 average per figure uh, for, for the number of figures that I sold. Sold a lot of CMFs. Um, I did mostly minifigure drafts. I think I th sold 60 minifigures via minifigure draft. And then the rest of them were just like random CMFs that I put up and I started, I didn't start anything at a dollar this time, which I did on the, that Monday. And I wasn't getting much traction on that. Started everything, uh, during the drafts at $3. That went really well, and then all of the CMS started at five bucks. So I knew that if somebody bid on it, I would be making at least a dollar per figure, which is 
that's kind of the goal. That's what I want to kind of target. And if it goes above that, then that's just kind of icing on the cake. But also, you know, I don't have to worry about if I start a figure at a dollar and it only sells for a dollar, well, then I'm looking at losing two to three to four dollars on a particular figure. I can just take it down. They're not interested. No big deal. We'll try it again at a different auction. So a couple of different like mind frame switches there for whatnot, but I really enjoy the process of selling on whatnot. I wish that I had more inventory to, to sell on whatnot. I, I really do because it was a lot of fun doing all of those parts on there. And now it feels like there's kind of a void in my life because now I'm just doing the same thing that everybody else is doing on whatnot, which is many figures, which is okay. It's fine, but I don't know. I'd really like to get into selling clothing and uh, things that I can't sell in my eBay store on whatnot at some point, and that might be a road that I'll go down eventually uh, at some point. So that's going to wrap it up for everything that I sold this week on eBay and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, always, of course, feel free to leave those. And until next time, happy buying, happy selling. We'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.